Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP. And tonight we're heading to Normandy and we're breaking out some armor for some bolt action tank wars. All right, so it's been years since we played a game of tank wars, but I figured what the heck, we'll start the year off right. We'll get a bunch of tanks on the table and we'll play a game of bolt action. So tonight it's gonna to be the British versus the Germans here in Normandy. But before we begin, we're gonna announce the winner of our Panacea Prince $50 gift card. And the winner is, by random draw, Mr. Jason Bell. So congratulations, Jason, on winning the $50 Panacea Prince giveaway. Uh, get in contact with me through social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, whatever works for you. I'll get you in contact with Chris, and we'll get you sorted out. And a big thank you to Chris from Panacea Prince for the $50 gift card for the drawing, as well as the amazing box of stuff that he sent me for Christmas, which I opened in a Christmas video, which announced the giveaway. And if you want to see what some of the stuff that he prints looks like, check that video out. He sent me an amazing assortment of stuff, all resin printed, very nice. And if you use the link to his store in the description of this video, you will get a 15% off discount. So, yeah, super awesome. So thanks again, Chris, and congratulations, Jason. I would like to mention our other channel sponsor as well right now, and that's Kick-Ass Mail Order. So these guys are our mail order hobby store based in the United States. They have an amazing assortment of World War II stuff, 15 mil, 28 mil terrain, hard to find metal blisters from Warlord. They got it all. So if you're in the States and you're looking for some well-priced uh, minis with a lot of variety, check out their link in the description. So now we dive into the briefing for tonight's game. We'll start with terrain. So the mat is the New Europe 2 mat by Cigar Box Battle, uh, one of our all-time favorites. Check out the description if you want to get one of those. Um, so we are in Normandy, so there's going to be some hedgerows. I tried to make this board so there'd be some good sight lines, but also some blocking terrain. So hedges are out. Uh, the hedges are going to be 4-inch visibility and soft cover. And other than that, we're going to have two buildings. Buildings are going to be intact buildings, hard cover. And then each building has a stone wall around it, which will be hard cover as well. Other than that, there's not really anything of note except the roads. Uh, which we all know what those do in bolt action. Oh, there's a couple uh, stands of trees I should mention. These are going to be dense terrain here, there, and there. And that will do it for terrain. So let's talk about the mission. Tonight's mission is called Armored Strike, and this is a um, custom mission. Uh, I can't seem to find my Tank Wars rulebook, um, I, so I don't really know if I'm getting all the rules right. I do know that every non tank unit has to have a transport and that's really the main one I think so we do have that but other than that I uh, can't really say if I'm missing any specific tank war rules I hope not uh, but if I am I apologize but uh, anyway so armored strike we are going to be playing long way on the table so we'll roll off whoever wins will get to pick the side that they deploy on and there'll be no units deployed on the table at the start of the battle both sides will pick half their force to come in the first wave and the rest will come in from reserve. They will be outflanking. And since we are playing long ways, the first outflank will be all the way up here. And then we'll add 12 for every turn after that. Um, and it's a basic kill point game. So it's one kill point for every unit killed. Uh, the command tank will be worth two points, however. But we will not know which tank is the command tank. So if we happen to get lucky and take out the command tank, that'll be two points. Uh, there will also be two points for claiming one of the buildings. So depending on what side you start on, if you start on that side, you have to get that building. If you start on this side, you have to get this building. And the only way to claim it is to get some infantry inside of it and have them inside of the building at the end of the game. And that would be worth two points as well. So a pretty simple custom mission there. Um, I think that's it for that. So let's go ahead and look at the forces. We will begin over here with the German platoon. So this is 1,366 points with nine order dice. So I'll be playing the German so I can say this because Andre's not here, but my command tank is going to be this Panther here. Um, so we got a regular Panther. It's a nine medium tank, but it's plus uh, 10 plus from the front. It's got super heavy anti-tank gun, two machine guns, and Tiger Fear. Uh, next we have a uh, vehicle, or uh, I'm sorry, it's a uh, Panzer IV off J or H and this is regular as well medium tank it also has Tiger Fear it's got a heavy anti-tank gun with two machine guns and lastly we're gonna have a Brumbar regular this is a heavy tank 10 plus armor with a forward facing uh, casement mounted heavy howitzer and a forward facing medium machine gun 
So that's our Kumpf Group Armor Platoon. So we don't have three of the same vehicles, so we're not going to get any of the radio net or command bonuses for this. It's a hastily thrown together Kumpf Group here in Normandy. Uh, moving over here, we got the rest of our force. We got two squads of regular grenadiers. Um, I believe there's only eight guys, so I think I put too many, but I'll take those out. So it's two eight-man squads, a uh, light machine gun, NCO with a submachine gun and two Panzerfaust. One is going to be riding in a half-track, the other is going to be riding in a truck, and uh, the last unit is going to be a 5 centimeter Pack 38, I believe it is, or, yeah, Pack 38, 5 centimeter AT gun, and its toe is going to be the um heavy field car and it is a uh, i believe a medium anti-tank gun so that is the german force oh tiger fear <laughs> the tiger fear rule uh, enemies within 18 inches and line of sight uh, counts having one extra pin for order tests except if they're firing at the unit that causes the tiger fear and if they don't have any pin markers then they just assume to have one so pretty good rule uh, we usually don't use it, but I think in this game uh, it's uh, it's cool. So we'll we'll use it in this game, and we'll go ahead and take a look at the British. And here is the British force. So this is 1,315 points with 13 order dice. So a large uh, order dice discrepancy, but I mean with the expensive vehicles the Germans had or have, that is uh, to be expected. So this is a, a guards armored division platoon. They have a special rule. They use Sher Sherman fives and fireflies and any infantry or artillery who pass an order uh, remove D2 pins instead of one pin. So that's the Guards Armor Division Special Rule. So starting over here, um, we have two Sherman 5s. So these are just Shermans with 75 mil guns, medium tanks, medium AT guns with the two inch template. And then we have a Firefly as well. And the Firefly is a super heavy anti-tank gun with only a coax. These two have hull and coax machine guns. Uh, so that's the armored platoon. Andre will have to decide which of these is going to be his command tank, and I won't know uh, which one it is. Uh, moving over here, we got our free observer, so that's part of the reason for the points discrepancy. And he's going to be riding in this uh, little truck here. <laughs> I forgot what it's even called. Uh, what is it? A uh, utility car. So he's in his own utility car, and then we're going to have two groups of commandos. So these are painted by our buddy Simon over at Tabletop Painting. He sent me a whole uh, commando platoon, essentially. And I will put a link to his painting service in the description of this video as well. So two of them, it's five guys each. Each has a submachine gun, and they will be riding in regular Bren carriers. And the Bren carriers have uh, the extra machine gun on them as well. They're not modeled, but they are there. Uh, moving over here, we have a regular uh, infantry section, full strength, 10 guys, Bren team, SMG sergeant. And they're riding in a, well, it's a stolen American truck, but it's technically a 30 CWT truck. Uh, it's got a machine gun on it, and I think it can hold like 12 guys or something. It's enough to hold the platoon. And then lastly, we have a six-pounder, and it is going to be um, towed around by a, what is that, a 15 CW truck. So that is the British Army. And when Andre gets here, we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so Andre's here, and as usual, we've uh, discussed the rules and we've modified the victory points quite a bit. So uh, the buildings originally were just going to be two points if you were in it at the end of the turn. But now it's going to be two points for the building farthest from your deployment area at the end of every turn you're in it. And it's going to be one point if you're in the building closest to your deployment area at the end of the turn. So... That'll give us some incentive to bring our infantry out because Andre was saying he really had no reason to bring his infantry out at all uh, until the end of the game to try to rush the building. So that'll give us a reason to come out uh, with those guys a little bit earlier. So as far as first wave, I'm going to bring, be bringing the Panther, the Panzer IV, the Brumbar, and my Pack 38. Andre's bringing his whole tank platoon, uh, one of the squads or sections of commandos in the Bren, and the regular section in the truck. And then he's going to be outflanking his AT gun, his other commando section, and his um, his spotter is going to be coming in, just regular reserves. I'll be outflanking my Grenadier squad and truck, and my Grenadier squad and half-track will be coming in regular. So I will go ahead and 
stand over here. Andre will show you his command tank. You can just pick it up, put it in front of the camera. Well, I gotta look at him from behind to tell which one it is. Okay. Okay, ready? Well, I'll point it. Okay, go ahead. There we go. Okay, and then point to where your outflankers are coming in. We will be outflanking on that side. I hope that I was pointing the camera in the right spot. I don't know. Well, <laughs> if not, uh, and I cheat, you'll never know. Okay, and then I will be outflanking on, close your eyes, that side. So I think that will do it. So we know his command tank, everyone already knows mine because I went over it in the uh, intro. And we're ready to begin. And here we go, turn one, Andre, the Andre will be bag man tonight. I'll be gray, Andre will be tan and green, and that's one of mine. I'll put one of my outflankers down. I will put my outflanker down. He'll put his outflanker down, and we'll come back. So we've, uh, I got through all my reserves. Andre got through quite a few of his. He still has a few left. Then I pulled one of mine, so I had to do some. So I brought my Pac-38 in here in heavy field car, uh, just up there behind that hedge. And next guy, so one of Andre's down. Down? Are you, are you out of stuff to put down? Nope. Now you are. One of mine. My Brumbar is coming over here on my right flank with a great line of sight straight down that way. Of course, I'm also susceptible now <laughs> to shooting. I uh, do have some cover though. You got 10 front armor, right? 10 front armor and cover. Yeah. And I went on uh, So he'll have to do something now. He put the guys in the Bren down. And now he has to do something else. Are you going to put something else down? or? Um, no, I think I'll actually... I'll let him think about it. Hmm. Andre's brought Sherman 4 in. I don't know if that's his command tank or not, but he is out of line of sight behind the hedges. So next guy. One of mine. So I only got two things left. Really? Yeah, my um, oh, Panther wow. and my Panther 4. <laughs> I know. I got a lot less dice than you, so all right, let me think about it. Panzer 4 is coming on my left flank. Um, he ran up there. I am behind the hedge, and I'm also blocked in a uh, line of sight from that direction by those trees. Next day, one of Andre's. Andre has run, I'm assuming? Yeah. Uh, a uh, brand carrier full of uh, commandos up to there. And another one of Andre's. Andre has driven a truck with his regular section in it. Uh, that was a, just a regular move then, huh? Um, you, you can go double. If you really want to get close, <laughs> you could run, what, 48 on the road? You won't be able to get out, though. Um, so if you want to think about that. I, I was uh, thinking uh, I wanted to be able to get out, but... That doesn't really help me, does it? If you go 48, you can't get out. Yeah, but getting out here is kind of meaningless. Getting out there, yeah. So we'll let Andre think about it. Oh, he's running. He's going to finish running 48. We'll have to measure that. Yeah, there he is. So he's got a section way up here. He's going for the points in the house. And another one of Andre's. Don't get out. They can't get out. <laughs> they can go down. <laughs> okay, the guys inside will go down. Another one of Andre's. So what do you got left? You got your Firefly, your other Sherman, and the Commandos are already down. So your Firefly and your Sherman is all you got left, I think. Andre's brought his second Sherman 5 on, just straight down the road. Next guy, one of mine. Hmm, so I got my, I can get my AT gun off the truck, or I can bring my Panther in. So I've had my uh, Pack 38 has disembarked up there along the hedge. Next die, so Panther time. Okay, I brought my Panther on. Uh, he moved down the road, and I can see the Sherman. Although I'll give him soft cover, just because he's partially obscured by that hedge. So the cannon's going to go on to the Sherman. And the bow machine gun is going to go on to the truck. So five on the green, fours on the yellows. So I missed with the cannon, but I got one, two, three, four hits on the truck. 
Needing a six. Got two sixes. Kind of didn't want to destroy the truck because there was a block from your uh, firefly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that, that's going to help me when the firefly comes on. But uh, so I need a four on one of these. Yeah, the truck's destroyed. Um, okay, and then D6 hits on the dudes inside. Five Damn. hits. <sighs> so uh, needing fours because they're regulars. One, two, three, four dead. Wow. So the truck is dead. Four guys are dead. And then ten. So those what's left of the section got out, went down behind the behind the house. Truck is destroyed. Last dice is gonna be the firefly. So Andre's brought his firefly in. Uh, he just kind of moved in off the edge of the board here along the hedge. He does have line of sight to my my tank. We're gonna say soft cover for the wreck. Moved long range. All I need is a six. Oh God! Please don't. Oh, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> and that will do it for turn one. Right, here we go. So he's got a still has a dice advantage on me. So there's a good chance I'll get another shot on my. He'll get another shot on my panther here. Yep. Okay. So with the tank radios, does that mean I can no. activate, I can't activate all my tanks at nope, once? Nope, you cannot do that. Fire all of my guns at <laughs> once end. That would be epic though. Blow you into space. Could be, like if they did an updated rule, like a snap two. Yeah, alright, all right. so... Uh, Five. Uh, here we go. No. Miss, perfect. Yeah. The firefly is missed twice. That is good news. That is good news. Of course, uh, one of mine. Okay. Okay, so I moved my uh, panther over a little bit. And we're going to take a shot at that Sherman over there. So, um, needing a four. Oh, it's a miss. So close. Very close. And I think that's it. So next die. I think you put a little tiger fear in us. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that was just panther fear. That's one of yours. Just going to have that Sherman fire back at the uh, panther. Um, at the AT gun. Oh, AT gun. Okay. So firing at the AT gun. So uh, hold on here. I'm going to fire a shell at the AT gun. Even a six. Man, Andre's not rolling well yet. That scares me. <laughs> He's saving him up. Another one of Andre's. Yay. <laughs> Commandos and their uh, brain carrier just moved up towards the church. Next die. Another one of Andre's. He's going to go down with the outflankers. I'll do the same. Let's get this out of the way. Okay, there's my outflankers. Okay, there's one of mine. So my Panzer IV, an attempt to give the Firefly something else to shoot at, maybe even do something to it. I just, <laughs> <laughs> it's like I don't even assume I'm going to do anything. I'm just giving him another target. So I've rotated in place, turned, moved up to the hedge, and we're going to take a shot. So long range, moved. So needing a five on the Firefly with the Panzer IV. Ooh, it's a hit. Uh, but it'll be minus one on my pen because I'm long range. So I think I'm a six, I'm a five against your nine. So I need a four here to do any damage. Oh, it's a penetrating hit on the firefly. See if we can destroy it. No, it's immobilized and takes two pens. Hmm. Hey, I'll take it. <laughs> so two pins on the Firefly. It will now be immobilized. And okay. next turn, or next die. One of Andre's. Andre's gonna continue putting his reserves down as one of mine. What do I got left? I got my AT gun, my Brumbar. And then I got my half track full of dudes off the table. Let me think about it. You got a half track on the table. 
or no, that's just a regular car. Yeah, that's just the toe for the gun. Yeah. It's not going to do anything. All right. Well, he's still got a dice. Though. Yeah, that's true. It's kind of like a on table down order. <laughs> 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 I want to buy some time, but I, let me think about it. Brumbar has crashed through the hedge, and he has run 18 inches up there next to the house. Next die. One of Andres putting something down. Putting something down. It's got a lot of shit out there. One of mine. My half track, uh, what Squatted Grenadiers, past the order came in, just advanced double speed down the road up towards that house there. Next day, Andres. So you still got your number four Sherman over there in the corner. You got those guys. What are so they gonna what do? What are they gonna roll to? Rally? No, get past their Tiger Peter. Oh, it just adds a pin to whatever you have. So if you have one pin, it'll make it two pins to whatever you want to do now. Okay, so trying to pass an order. Yep. Seven, Nine. eight. Yeah, they do. They just pass. Okay. So we have pin free. And uh, going into the house. Running on in the house. In the house. Okay. Next dice, one of mine. So I got the guys in the half track. I got my ET gun. That's about it. That's what I got out there. Kind of hide behind the truck there, at least for a little bit of cover. And we're going to fire at the guys inside the building. Uh, fives for the yellows, which is the machine gun and the rifles, and then the SMGs, the fours. Okay, two SMG hits, and then one, two, three hits with everything else so that's five total hits how many guys you got left in there six <laughs> so even if i rolled all fours here i still couldn't take you out all right then uh needing fours one two three how are you four fours when i'm in hard cover you're regulars no no you're when thinking you of chaining me uh because i'm a point blank smg oh okay so no movement penalty just hard cover um, four dead. Four dead. Yep, and then a six. Oh, another six. Man. Okay, I'll take your NCO out and three other guys. And you'll have to take a one pin morale check. Uh, they're down to a Bren team. Uh, he did pass his morale test though. So he's got a pin. And. Oh, wait. Tiger Fear. Seven. Yeah, I think you still you just still just passed because you needed a you needed a, a seven. So it's any <laughs> roll when I'm within eighteen, huh? I think it's I think we'll double check, but you would have passed anyway. You you got exactly what you would have needed with essentially two pins being regulars. You needed a seven, so you did pass it. Um, but I'll have to double check and see if it, it's morale test or just order checks or what. But uh, they do have one pin and they're down to two guys. Next die. Of course, my guys are now sitting ducks. <laughs> uh, Next, yeah. uh, so that's one of Andre's. Sherman 4 is moved up. up. He's going to fire a shell at the Panther. In the 6. It's a 3. Next die. One of Andre's. Andre's brought his uh, little truck with the spotter in over here and my spotter will get out jump out and okay and go spot <laughs> go spot go no mind so I just have my AT gun and my AT gun truck left it's gonna have my AT gun is going to fire at that Sherman but I need a six because he's got hardcover because he's partially or he's obscured by this church and it's long range needing a six nope. damn close um, try again okay fire again <laughs> that's my uh, truck transport and I think the last what do you have just one left and that's these guys no. commandos have advanced up uh, next to the church there got out of the brain carrier and that is everything so we go on to turn three Okay, turn three. Outflankers oh, can start coming in now. 
That's one of mine. Oh boy, what do we want to do first? I have no idea, <laughs> but you got choices. I did not expect to get the first die. I didn't think you would either. But you got, uh, so you got two points for that. So mm -hmm. keep a tally up there and we'll, uh, I'll figure out what I'm going to do. Panther advanced up. We are going to fire at the Sherman, needing a four. Ah, oh, we missed. I don't think I can do anything else. Nope. All right, next die. Well, that was a whiff. One of Andre's. Passed his order with the uh, Firefly. And he's going to fire at the Panzer IV, needing a six. It's a two. That's a miss. Three shots now for the Firefly. No hits. I... The uh, odds of actually hitting anything <laughs> not are, great. in this game are not uh, great. They are not great. One of mine. So I've advanced my Brum bar up just a little bit um, to get in normal range of the Sherman. I'm going to fire at the Sherman with the howitzer, needing a uh, five. Oh man, it was like teetering like that. Ugh. I'll fire the machine gun as well as the spotter. Needing sevens. One shot. I got one. It's I got dead. two. On a four, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. I killed the free spotter with the machine gun on the brum bar. What are the freaking odds of that? Wow. I'll well, take his dice. That was uh, <laughs> a kill point. <laughs> no, that was my last uh, oh, hope for one of my one of your dice. That was literally uh, all I was hoping for for uh, pulling this game back out. All right, good job, Brumbar. Even though you didn't hit with the howitzer, we did kill the spotter. So next die, it's another one of mine. Right, so I've had this squad assault the building. I'd, didn't want to do that because I know he's got two Shermans and they can, they're only needing like threes to hit the building at that point with D6 per. But he could also fire, get a lucky shot from that Sherman and hit them in the open or whatever, not in the open, but with, out here. And Well, actually it's seven, so probably not. But. Well, that would be sixes this time because you wouldn't have to move. Oh, yeah. Um, but, so if he did somehow land a shell on them and I pa failed the order, these guys would just be sitting in there collecting points. So I got to get them out, and I have to hope that I can survive the uh, survive what's coming. So uh, I got you have me a green dice, Andre. I got one tough fighter. So let us see if we can get two fours here. Hey, we got two fours. <laughs> So you're dead, but you do get to assault, so you got one of me. So you died, you killed one of my guys, and then I'll take your position in the building. Okay, so after they uh, took out the British section, they've got a one-inch consolidation, so they're in the building. I didn't want to go in the building, but there they are. So next day, so Andres, he's putting the, uh, the transport down, one of mine. So I got my gun, I got my outflankers. Do I bring them in? Or do I fire my Panzer IV at your Firefly again? Let me, uh, I'll try to bring them in my outflankers. Outflankers have come in. Uh, I forgot, I didn't have a machine gun on this truck. I was gonna pop out right here and hose those guys down, but I don't know if I'll get the, you know, if I had a machine gun, I would have done it and then hope to get the next ice and pop out and fire again. But popping out with no machine gun, it's, they could just, all this stuff here could hit me. So it's coming in kind of out of sight. Yeah. And Andre did get the next die. So probably a good call. So Andre's going to have Sherman number four fire on the building. Just needing a four. Just a, oh, oh, it's a hit. Okay. That's one of your three sixes. You said you're going to roll. Okay. So it's D six hits to the guys inside. You gotta roll d6 to see how many you get first. Oh. <laughs> you don't just get six right off the bat. Let's oh, roll a six here. A five, okay. I know I shouldn't have gone in that building. <laughs> it's only five hits. Even, even three but, sixes. Anything but. 
Four dead. Four dead and yeah. D3 pins. And D3 pins. Two pins. Two pins. So okay. D figure. Oh D3. Yeah. Sorry, that's one pin. No. That's two pins. That's two pins. Okay. Alright, so I'm down to machine gun and NCO and I gotta make a two pin two two pin morale check. So I need the seven. No we do problem. pass. All right, we got just a handful or a handful of guys left. Oh, there was a handful to start with. <laughs> now there's only a couple of guys left. Another one of Andres. All right, he's gonna fire his last Sherman at it. Needing a three. Another hit. Okay. Okay. D six hits. Yep. <laughs> Five again. Okay, I'm pretty much done. Yeah, they're dead. All right, so a bad idea to go in the building. Yeah. I gotta give Andre some hope, I guess. Took two, uh, took my two, both Shermans to. You know, like he had anything else to shoot at. <laughs> and there's my one kill point for the. Uh... Okay, what's. Uh... Yeah, so you got a kill point. Uh... Yeah, you got my dice. All right. Next die. Me one again. Years. So the Bren uh, advanced up. He's gonna fire at my truck. Just need fours, right? Moved. <laughs> Two hits. Two hits, all right. Even sixes. Uh, two ones. That means that so I. So close. I withdraw the pin. <laughs> <laughs> I withdraw the pin. Okay, insane you heard heroism. Him. Insane heroism. He's withdrawing. <laughs> Next die. Me Another one again. of Andre's. Andre's, uh, one of his outfunkers have come in. The Bren. He's going to fire the two. So these are misses. Looks like three misses. So five hits. Five hits, needing a six. You got two sixes. Two sixes. Uh, <laughs> he does not destroy the truck. Uh, I'll figure it out. So the truck is immobilized and shocked, and then I took a bunch of more pins. So let's see here. Next die. I still got my Panzer IV here. Yes, you do. Now would be a good time to get the <laughs> next die. Nope. I do get the you next get die. Get to blow me up. Yeah. Maybe. I gotta hit you first. Let's see what I can do here. All right, Panzer IV at the Bren. Um, needing threes for everything. So hit with the main gun. And I got four machine gun hits. So those won't do anything. But the main gun, come on, don't roll a one. I rolled a one, perfect. <laughs> so nothing but two pins. I didn't pen. Wow. But that's two on both. Two on everyone, yeah. Which is... Actually, but if I pass an order, I pull two pins, don't I? You can't. You could D two pins. You pull D two, yeah. So oh. yeah, you could pull two pins. Okay. All right. And the one of yours. So he failed the order with the commandos. The two pin order. Roll the nine. Say it. <laughs> nine. That was a painful nine. Another one of mine. Do I even have anything left here? Got my half track. Got my AT gun that is now. Blocked for everything. I think that's pretty much all I have. Yeah. Your your AT gun is well defended. <laughs> no one's getting to my AT gun. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, well, let me think about it here. Oh, I still got my guys in the truck. I guess I could try to pass the three pin order or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Let's try that. Come on, boys. You got to be good here. Now, hell no. <laughs> So they're gonna go down in the truck. All right, next day. Should be getting down to it now. Another one of mine, my AT gun again. AT gun is back on the truck. Can you move when you mount? I don't think so, although you should be able to. I was gonna say, you should be, oh, can you move and dismount or? I think, yeah, you can move and dismount. Okay, because I know on one end or the other, you can double dip, yeah. but not both. 
Well, I know, and I think I think we've house ruled that before because it makes. I mean, with a six-turn game, it's like what it's going to take you half the turn, half the game to load and more. Than, yeah, it's a one-shot thing. <laughs> like, there's no there's no point in bringing a tow if you can't ever get back on it, yeah. except to get into position that first time. So, and my truck or my half right, track. There's your actually no, that's your gun. The gun. <laughs> oh, the gun loaded up. Yeah. All right. The, there's a. So I have, uh, my half track ran over this direction. We need to. We need help over here. We've got them surrounded. We need more machine guns. Call in the barrage. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Where is that barrage? I haven't seen any it's shells coming. coming. It's yet. coming. So another one of Andres. What do you got? You still got an outflanking six yeah. pounder. Is that it? We'll see if the uh, outflankers want to come in. Okay. Outflanking six pounder rolling. Nine. Nine. They don't make it. Okay. Yeah, it's because it's minus one on that. On that. Another one. Hey, it's my truck. Okay. I guess he can't do shit. <laughs> we'll wait till next turn. And then I got my last two, which is the uh, gun. The transport. And these guys will jump into the. Okay. Jump into the church. Okay. A squad of commandos are in the church, so he'll get a point for that. Um. So, I've got three points. You're not the British, but... But I have three of your dice over yeah, here. Yeah, you got three dice. So that's three kill points. So we're tied on points right now. Me on kill points, Andre on... Uh, oh, he's on. He's got one more than me. Three points from the objectives, one point for the kill, one of my kill points. Now we'll move on to turn four. Top of turn four. Come on, Germans. Nope, it's one of Andre's. Oh. So first thing Andre tried to do is fail the order with the Bren carrier. So actually, you have to back up. If you fail an order with the vehicle, you back up. Okay. All right, next die. It's one of mine. Ah, decisions, decisions. That six pounder not coming in has helped me quite a bit. Because he would have been firing this turn. Now it's going to be two more turns. He's going to be turn six before he can get a shot off. So, yep. okay, let me think about it. All right, I'll just fire at the Sherman. What the hell? Come on. Um, Panther, do something. A five. That might do something. Uh, so I'm a, I'm a seven against your nine. Seven. That's a penetrating hit. Wow. Come on, four. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Just two pins. Yeah. The tank rules in this game are not great. <laughs> it's hard to do anything. Sometimes you just feel like you did a good job if you got a hit. Another one of mine? Okay. Uh, well, I was going to move up there and fire at the half track at something, but... Uh, let me think. Got to fire my bow machine gun into the church. So hard cover. Um, hard cover. Fives. Two hits. Even fives. Those are veterans. Nothing but a pin. And then I'll do something with my dice. Fire the Panzer IV at the Firefly again. Because he's only down to one pin, so he can start doing some damage here. Uh, needing a four? Nope. And, and the head. machine gun will go into... I can't shoot at that. I don't even know. I might have not been able to do that shot. Am I too close to my truck? I didn't even check that. Uh, I guess we'll just fire the machine gun at this guy. Um, yeah, I'm not going to, I'll be too close to that truck to fire at that Bren. So I will fire at this Bren. Okay. I got a hit. <laughs> Maybe multiple hits. So another pin on everyone in there. We're up to three pins now. So next die. And Andres. Right past the three pin order with the commandos. He's gotten out. He's going to unload onto the truck. He got two hits. Three hits. 
three hits, needing sixes because he had long range plus two pins. Man, that was a hell of a roll. Uh, yeah, three hits. If I just needed fours. So three hits. Been so all hits. Needing sixes again. Nope. Nothing but a pin. So they're up to four pins now on this thing. Or five or whatever it is, four. Okay, next die. This one of mine. Okay, what the hell do I want to do here? Half track uh, turned, he's in the woods. And we're gonna see if we can get a pin on those guys in the building there, needing sixes. Got one. Needing a five. Ooh, a six. A dead and a pin. That helps. It's a nice job by the half track, killing a commando. Hmm. Kill the commando for Christ. <laughs> Next die. No comment from the Germans. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything. Uh, number one of Andres. So the Bren moved over here, turned on the spot, and he's going to fire at the truck. Got one hit. hit. <laughs> Another pin, though. I'm at five pins. Oh, a six. Oh, God. So that's... Yeah, it's a it's a dead or it's yeah. Roll to see what happens. He, oh, he destroys the truck with the rent here. Here, oh man, <laughs> D six hits on the guys inside. Two, Two. hits. Okay, and uh, fours. Nothing, Nothing but so I take another pin. I already put the no. So another pin for the hit. truck is dead. And then another hit pin for him blowing up, or no? No, I don't think so. But I got to get out, so let me get out. So the men have gotten out of the truck uh, over there into the woods, and I put one of our new explosion markers that Chris sent us from Panacea Prints. I was waiting for a tank to die to put it on there, but that might not happen <laughs> the way this <laughs> game's going. So I wanted to get out here. So the truck with our brand new explosion marker. He said this is his best seller. Pretty cool. It's this little tea light and a cloud of smoke but it looks cool so next die on mine uh i guess i could rally these guys yeah let's rally the uh the squad rally me boys <laughs> they fail the rally yay oops another one of mine so i got my brum bar and my at gun pretty much is all i have left Truck or the AT gun is dismounted. So we mounted and dismounted. But anyway, we do have line of sight to that brain carrier. So maybe if we get lucky, we can get a kill point off of it. Another one of mine. So the last thing is my Brum Bar, I think. Uh, you know what I'll do? You got so much stuff left. Yeah. Brum Bar. Okay. Brum Bar is reversed, pivoted. We're going to fire at the church. So. Needing a four. It's a miss. All right, next day. So there's a uh, closet Catholic in your brum bar, huh? <laughs> yeah. Another one of Andre's. Should be all yours, right? I think I have one left, which uh, is my. You got one left. Yeah, yeah, that's just my truck for that, which isn't going to do anything. So Andre's got a whole bunch of dice. Look at all those. So we'll let him do something with that. So I'll start here, here shooting at uh, okay. those guys. So pass an order. One pin order, how hard could it be? About? Uh, they do pass, because they're veterans. About that hard. They're veterans. So One pin or two do. pin? Is it two? Do they have two? Oh, then they fail. Yeah, so they fail. So they go down. Okay. Which I'm really surprised you didn't go down before I fired the brum bar at the building, but... Uh, I guess you knew I was going to miss. <laughs> just wasn't uh, really thinking about it. Um, okay, so another die for the uh, transport wagon over there. Okay. Um, I guess the Fireflies got a shot on uh, you back there. Yep, all right. Firefly at Panzer IV. Where you want it. Pass an order. Pass an order? Don't you have a pin still? I do. Not anymore. Just past the order. All right, so just long range, soft cover. Need a five. Uh oh. Oh. That's a hit. So it's a six against my nine. 
It's a penetrating. That might be a triple pen or double pen. Really? Yeah. Because you got 12. Yeah. That's Damn. a. You're three over mine, so it's two dice. Two dice. Yeah. Rolling sixes is good. Yeah, it is. He's dead. Wow. Panzer IV is dead. So the immobilized Firefly has taken out my Panzer IV, which was not my command tank, by the way. So, um, I guess see if I can pass an order here. Yep. Sherman passed his order. Take your pin with you. I don't need my pin. Uh, he's going to fire at the half track with the cannon and the whole gun at the infantry. So it's going to be moved pin. So for the gun, it's going to be a uh, five. And I think it's going to be a seven because you're, my infantry are in hard cover. So seven on the infantry, five on the gun. On the half. Uh, yeah. No, I'm in soft cover because I'm inside the woods. So six on the gun. Wow. So two possibles with the machine gun. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Hey, at least you're in point blank range now. <laughs> uh, maybe you can hit me now. Huh? <laughs> maybe. Well, I hit you last time. I just couldn't do any damage. Um, and I guess I'll fire my Sherman at uh, at you here. Okay. So you get past your tank. Uh, if I hit the back end, or all right, so we'll figure it out. So that Sherman at the Panther needing long range, soft cover, five. Uh oh man, you got to stop rolling these tabletop generals dice, Andre. They're nice dice, six Travis. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that's going to do it. Probably not. You're a five. You're a four. A yeah, I'm a ten. It is a pin, though. It is a pin. A pin, not a pen. Pin on the panther, which could <laughs> very well stop me from doing anything with it. And two more dice. Still two more dice left. What do you got? Oh, coincidence. Well, the AT gun. Yes, yeah, so you can try to bring in your AT gun. We still got off-table assets. Hey, he'll make it this time. The, <laughs> the six pounders come in over here. So suddenly there's a six pounder over here, kind of right there behind us. Well, they were right there along the uh, hedge. They just were afraid to uh, deploy with that uh, tank sitting right there. I told them he should have deployed right here and we could have just had an AT gun fight. <laughs> <laughs> Deploying point blank, we just shoot at each other <laughs> at point so, blank range. <laughs> actually, uh, so... Uh, I got a gun shield. <laughs> do gun shields uh, count in close combat? <laughs> Yeah, my gun is going to assault your gun. Charge, they pick it up and like, it's like a joust. <laughs> Alright, that's it for turn four. Turn five, it is, what do you got, six points to my three. Yep. Um, he's got another point for them being in there. That's two points for that he's gotten in there. He's got two points for those guys when they got in there but died. And then he's got two kill points? Two kills. And I've got three kills. Yep. And first I So notice. the infantry are uh, winning the game here. It's one of Andre's. So this Sherman, first die, he's gonna, he passed his order, thanks to the command tank plus one. Actually, technically, I don't think I even bought that for you with points, but um, it says it comes with it. It's kind of confusing in Easy Army. It says it comes with the command tank rule, but then you gotta spend like 25 more points to get it. And then you got to spend like 10 more points to add to that. So I, don't, <laughs> I don't know what the hell it means. It comes with the rule, but then I don't know. But anyway, we'll say he has it. So he passed. He's going to fire at the panther. He got a hit. Woo. Although I don't think he's within six. <laughs> but he's in six to this fender right there. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh I'm this, touching this is what's this is what Steve's old thing is his thing is always we'll give it to you because you know in the course of moving you know you don't always move exact um, so so nothing it's a pin it is a pin it's not nothing oh 
A pin is nothing. Is not nothing. No. Next up. Uh, so one of mine? Yes. So these guys, man, them failing that rally really sucked. All I needed was them to pull some pins. So, well, I guess we're in point blank of each other then. <laughs> of course, I'm back further. My gun's farther back on the on my tank than yours. <laughs> I'll, probably, I'll probably not be in point blank of you, but you'll be in point blank. Because yours is like a quarter inch closer to the front of the hole than mine is. <laughs> Even though your muzzle is touching my tank, you're not yeah. point blank. <laughs> Sadly, it's not from the end of the gun. It's from the breech. <laughs> so, all right, let me think about what I want to do here. We'll do it. We'll fire the or we'll try to try to pass the two pin order. We do. So that takes me down to one, which means I'll be needing measure it out. Am I within six of you? I, probably I, not. I'm gonna have to. I mean, probably not technically, but yes. <laughs> no, I'm a quarter inch. I, uh, I can't stretch. say that. Uh, <laughs> stretch. If I'm in point blank of you, uh, fire. Why right. don't you be in point blank of me? Let's see what happens. Yeah, well, I would have got a hit either way. Even without being in point blank. Even with the pin. Uh, so that's a seven against your nine. So again. Okay, that's a penetrating hit. Again. So that's the second penetrating hit that Panther's got on that Sherman. Uh, yeah, if I would have got a five, I would have got a double pin. But see what happens? A one. A one, of course. Hey, two more pins. <laughs> hey, I'm up to three pins. Oh boy. Look out. So another failed penetration roll. Or failed destruction roll, I should say. Another one, Andres. The six pounder is going to fire at the half track in the woods. Yeah, it's a that's, miss. No, no, that's, that's good. That is a miss. That is a out of ammo. <laughs> <laughs> you hit your own truck. One of mine. Man, okay, I got my uh, half track. It doesn't have any pins on it. The guys do. My AT gun. I'm pretty much down to my brum bar, my AT gun, and my half track. Who can do something at this point? Um, let me think about it. So I'm going to fire at this truck here uh, with my AT gun. Essentially, I, I'm just trying to get a, a kill point at this at this stage. So three. Oh. Hits so medium AT gun is a five, so anything but so that is a penetrating hit. Uh, yeah, not a double pen, sadly. <laughs> hey, that's like the third time I rolled a one on my damage. Two pins, <laughs> so nothing but pins on the truck. Oh no, nothing about pins on everything. <laughs> Another one, Andres. This Bren, I was going to fire that, uh, his Bren, at these guys, so hard cover. That's not going to do it. Yeah, nothing. Okay, next die. Another one of yours. Commandos in the building failed their check because of the Tiger Fear. Another one of Andre's. This Bren failed the three, three pin order. One of mine, or I got my brum bar. Man, that really sucks. I want to shoot that building, but they're down. It's like half hits. I think I get like 3d6 hits or something <laughs> on them. I don't know. But since they're down, they th that does count. So it'd be five. It'd be a five for me to hit the building at this point with the brum bar because they're down. So, but if I can kill them, I can stop you from getting another point, and I can get a point myself. Yeah, it's just the uh, the Germans really need. I needed to get some kills at the start to kind of get reduce your and dice. I you get some I get mean, some dice. Yeah, get the dice a little bit more even. Get some points. And I've got some hits. It's just I can't uh, I can't roll a four on that uh, at home. penetrating hit or on the damage roll. So uh, let me think about it. Rumbar has advanced up, and we're gonna fire at the Sherman. Uh, I'm getting a side shot on it. I am a heavy howitzer, which is a plus four, so I'm a plus five. 
If I can get a hit. Come on, Brumbar. That is not a hit. Okay, <laughs> next die. <laughs> Impressive. Another one of yours. So Sherman Forrest come out. He's gonna fire at the Panther. So moved, long range, soft cover. So a six. It's a hit. Is it? No. Okay. <laughs> I don't need another pin. <laughs> next die. I don't think I have anything left. Uh, you better. You got like four dice. Oh, I still got. Yeah, okay. I got my half track and you got my your half track. You got those guys. Hmm. Do we pull? Uh, we'll figure it out. Rally. Try to rally these guys. We do. Hey, we rally. So one minus one plus two. Yeah. Woohoo! Amazing. I'm down to two pins. <laughs> didn't roll a one. <laughs> I did not roll a one, which is normal. Well, that's the holy man. I'm sorry. Sometimes we do get on those. One of Andres. So the transport. Uh, the spotter's transport went down. Another one of mine. Uh, I got my half track left. I think that's it. In my truck, my uh, gun, gun tow. So the half track. We'll fire at that that brand there. Let's see if we can get a pin on it, I guess. I don't think I can hit them. I gotta shoot over my guy through my truck, so. Firing at the guys in the building. Not gonna do sevens, anything. yeah, because they're down in hard cover. All right, I guess all I can do is try to put a pin on the Bren. So I do put a pin on the Bren. Nothing but a pin. Next die. Actually, so you got your truck is your uh, yeah, the tow truck. vehicle, and yeah. I got. Now let's go there. Um, the Firefly. This guy can Rally. try and pass an order and see if he can boogie on out of there. And you got one left. Oh, oh these, these guys. guys. Yeah. All right. um, so, well, first, this guy backed up. He failed the order and he backed up, so that actually helped him. <laughs> and then these guys passed their order down on one pin. They moved up. They're going to fire at those guys. But I need sevens. Got one possible. Nothing. Nothing but a nothing. Is that it? That's uh, turn six. We're on the turn six. So you get another point for that. All right. All right, we're going to call it. I'm going to concede. There's no way I can catch up to Andre. He's at, what, eight points? Seven points? Eight. Eight points, and I'm at three. <laughs> There's no way I can catch up in one turn. Um, yeah, I started out pretty good, but not being able to kill anything with all the hits I got. I mean, this Panther should have been, took him out, killed the next one, killed the next one, killed some infantry, he didn't do anything. Um, I got a kill with a machine gun on the Brum Bar. <laughs> the Brum Bar didn't do anything. So it's just the same problem with bolt action tanks that's always existed and probably the reason we don't play tank wars very often is because the tanks are just... There's not really any point in spending a lot of points on points a tank. Points on tanks because they're you're better off not just, effective. You're better off taking just some cheaper tanks and more of them and more stuff than putting a bunch of money into like a panther that rolls a one when you try to destroy something so it's yeah the big tanks they're fun they look cool but uh game wise they're not really that much better uh, because you still you're still reliant on rolling to hit and if you miss that hit then okay you gotta wait till next turn and well and odds are you're only gonna get you know, pop off, you know, four, maybe five shots with each vehicle, which means, um, you know, you were hitting a little better than I was, so your odds were, you know, getting one to two hits with each vehicle. My odds were I probably wasn't going to hit anything. Um, well, I might get a hit. But, but yeah. yeah, it's... Uh, um, I was 
kind of running some odds of uh, actually destroying a vehicle and statistically I shouldn't have killed any of your vehicles <laughs> yeah um, should you have taken out some of mine um, you probably should have killed one to two should have uh, killed at least two I mean I hit that thing so I hit I hit like four three you got four hits I think yeah and or, didn't destroy anything but didn't you hit this I immobilized it. You hit it, didn't you hit it, or you missed it on the net? Yeah, I never hit it again. I okay. hit the first time and immobilized it. I hit that thing a couple Twice. times with the panther and, and then rolled a one yeah. both times on the pen table. So, I mean, if luck would have just been a little, you know, I could have destroyed that, I could have destroyed that, and then these two things could have went to work on all this. Well, and that's <laughs> that was, you so know, was just at the beginning of turn three, I'm looking at this going, oh, I am so sunk. Um, cause all I saw, you know, I, all of that, uh, soft stuff over there, I was just seeing kill points for Travis. I didn't think any of that stuff was going to survive. Oh, and I hit the Bren carrier with the Panzer IV too, and I got a one. <laughs> so I yeah. mean that if, yeah, even if I would have got half of the hits as kills, I would have killed like three more, th or I would have got a lot more points. And that just, it kind of cascades because then I can't turn and shoot at something else yeah so it's like you know if i killed that on the first shot the panzer four could have started shooting at something else if i killed that on the first shot this could have done it. so i mean it's like a double whammy because now now not only do i have to waste a turn another turn trying to take it down i have to i can't do anything else so <laughs> yeah i was doing good at the beginning but yeah having and then the brumbar i don't remember what he did well what I was kind of expecting the Brumbar to do was to just sit back and once I went into a building, just, uh, you know, blow me out of it. Um, you know, even if I'm going down, um, I figured with the amount of HE you had um, that I wasn't going to last in the buildings particularly well. Yeah, but I never hit a building. Well, you didn't <laughs> fire at them that much either. And, yeah. Yeah, that's... So, when you popped your uh, infantry out over here, I'm not sure that that uh, bringing your infantry in to clear the building, because you know both of us needed to maintain our infantry to get the uh, objective points. And with all the HE on the board, they were going to get whittled down rapidly, even if you're going down each turn. So you need to go into the building full strength. So I was expecting that you would have, you know taken another turn to blow me out of there but focus fired with your HE onto the building ignoring my tanks because um, it was really about the uh, infantry in the early game yeah yeah and you had more infantry than I did I had a lot more infantry that's that's another downfall of bringing the expensive to in this particular mission um, infantry is very important in this one yeah and that's um, why I think you should have yeah, uh, not so much that the mistake was going in with the uh, your infantry, but using your infantry at all over there, um, exposing them. Um, well, that's why I didn't want to go into the building. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I I was kind of surprised you were even engaging with them at all, having them out in the open where I could shoot at them. Oh, well, I had to clear those guys out because it's two victory points. Yeah. Every but, every turn you're in. But there. I I was surprised you didn't use your uh, HE to mm. to do that. And I could I, have missed. I, I needed a surefire. I had to be sure I could get him out. Well, if I would have missed, it's it's also real hard in this game to not fire at the big, juicy tank targets when you think you've got a decent chance of taking out a tank. Yeah, um, that's that's a tough target to pass up. Um, and I'm talking in retro respect here. Yeah, I don't know that I would have been able to not fire at my Shermans. Yeah, well, I wanted to kill your observer for sure. Um, that was huge. I didn't mean to kill him with the machine gun. I thought I was going to get a hit with the four-inch template, and it, since you he was were, touching the Sherman, it would have hit him. so flustered <laughs> over there. Yeah. If I could have dropped that in, um, I saw that as a game-changing uh, swing there. Yeah, I was then, literally probably going to get four to five units um, with the uh, barrage, and depending on how the pins came down, that could have just made all your, you know, half your HE ineffective at that point. Ah, yeah, the free observer. Yeah, he 
he uh, he was on the verge of being a huge hero. And then he died. <laughs> and then he died, and I was totally demoralized and just didn't see any way all this uh, soft stuff on my right flank was going to be able to make an impact. Yeah, I did not expect you to bring all your outflankers on this side. Since your bigger objectives over there, I thought, okay, at least the gun. That's kind of the reason I didn't drive the Brumbar up farther. I figured the AT gun was going to pop up in there. I, and I was wondering why you didn't shoot just... Me push your Brumbar up and... Because I was expecting an AT gun to pop up in those that hedge yeah, and like shoot sense, me from behind. Sense. So, and then, yeah, I don't know. I, I honestly brought it on this side because I thought I had a better field of fire. And I brought everything because I figured I'd need to have some other support for it, more distraction, you know, more distraction uh, to keep it alive, potentially. Um, you know, if you had enemy infantry lurking around over here, I'd just get overrun if uh, I didn't have the support. Yeah, infantry, so it's a tank war game, but infantry is very important. Um, so if we, if we would have went with the original rules, it only would have been points at the very end of the game. And this which would have been, so Andre would have been down like four points right now? Uh, five points. Well, it... Yeah, five points. So... But you it still would, could have won at the end by having a guy in the in their building. If, yeah. I mean, everything else staying the same. Well, yeah, but you still have the ability to kill some stuff. I have, yeah, it would really come down to the firefight right at the end. Uh, you know, who got lucky on uh, taking something out? Yeah. So yeah, and then when I made these lists, I didn't. I could have gave me more infantry, but I had the other kind of mission in my head <laughs> when I made the list if I knew we were gonna if I knew it was gonna change the way it did I might have brought a third a different or a different setup for the Germans maybe like a Stug instead of a Brumbar so I could afford another squad of infantry but I wanted the Brumbar so cool I didn't yeah. want it we haven't used it forever or, I, or the Panther and I think it uh, really could have been a game changer um, in terms of clearing buildings the Brumbar? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, I could have optimized and brought, you know, a Panzer three, a Panzer four, and a Stug, and then a bunch of infantry. But, you know, this is kind of the only chance we get to bring out the Panther and the Brumbar and, and some of and these vehicles. Tiger the Firefly. Fear really sucks. <laughs> Tiger Fear, yeah. It's like the only time we've ever used that. I think when we play with it, normally we always forget about it or just agree not to use it because it's, it seems it's, weird. Well, and... A lot of times it's just so powerful. Uh, usually, uh, if you've still got the Tiger Fear on the table, you're winning anyhow. Yeah. So, but since it is a tank game, we decided, what the hell, let's use it as is. So, anyway, but the mission, I think, is a good mission. Um, this would be a fun one. I think it, the flow of it, uh, the way it played out, the objectives... I think it works I, well. I th I think it's a balanced game. Yeah. Um, I just it's insane that I didn't lose any vehicles. Yeah, that's just. I mean, that's just a roll of the dice. There's nothing I, mean, I can do about that. <laughs> that yeah, that's that's just flat creep. Oh no, I did lose one vehicle. You did the oh, trench the truck. Part, the very first. Uh, yeah, the truck. The very first, and. Honestly, I thought all of my transports were going to be destroyed. And those were all just, uh, you know, that would be three more kill points lined yeah. up on that side of the board for you. Yep. All I had to do was pick I them couldn't off. even kill this one. <laughs> Point blank almost with a, and a hit with the AT gun and still rolled the one. It, the ones were killing. The ones on the damage roll, well, they sucked. I mean, yeah. no other way to put it. I don't know. I mean, I wasn't rolling badly, but... Uh, you just had some really crap rolls yeah. at key points. Yeah, like not rallying those those guys fell in a rally. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't happen very often. Yep, a rally fail. I don't know what they would have done, but at least they would have been able to do something besides rally twice, <laughs> uh, and then still have two shock. Well, on them. you could have pressed in on. Well, you might have been able to come up and capture a transport. You might have been able to take out the gun. Uh, I mean, oh yeah. I mean, a squad of infantry is always a good thing to have. So they could have done something. It's not for lack of targets on that side of the no, board. But, I mean, they they rallied. Yeah. Yeah, and I just wasn't expecting all your... I, when I brought this guy in, I didn't expect everything to come in over here. I'm like, uh, 
something's got to come in over there because that's where the big objective is but anyway it is what it is but it's a fun mission i would definitely try this one again or if you guys want to try this yourself um the two points for the you know farther house yeah. might be somewhat excessive or maybe a little more separation distance wise move them, move them further apart or yeah, yeah um that's that would be better because they're i don't even know if this one's more in the center that one's certainly closer to that side this one i don't think is really that much closer to your side than my side but yeah i mean having a little more distinction there um yeah having like 18 inches from each edge or something but I think that was an interesting dynamic just because there's so much HE on the board and we just know in bolt action you don't go in buildings when there's HE on the board. <laughs> yeah. So forcing ourselves to go into buildings was yeah. a bit on the counterintuitive side. And uh, Yeah, I paid the price for it. <laughs> I should have never went in that building with two Shermans just right there. Well, it's like, oh, um, there's yeah. a building. D6 hits twice, both rolling a five. That's ten. And then the plus two making anything but, yeah, it's, you're not going to survive that. Well, and I was hoping you would have missed at least one of those was kind of my my hope. That, I, okay, he could miss. I didn't expect to uh, to take you out first turn. That was... I, I did. I knew that was going to happen. I mean, if you needed a three, I think a four, maybe you needed one on one roll. But it's, yeah. the odds are pretty good you'll hit twice and then... I mean, then there's always a chance you roll a one on the D6, but then two fives, yeah. I mean, yeah. well, it's just as good the guys series in the church, of rolls. You could have blasted uh, them out of there. I could have if I had didn't have you know if I would have killed the Sherman. Well, no, and if you'd have just left my Shermans alone, what what are my uh, Shermans really doing other than putting pins on you? Yeah, I think you just went down. Um, I mean, the only uh, the Firefly got a lucky hit over here and actually took a tank out but that was just flat luck yeah but it i i understand it's you see armor on the board you got an armor killing machine it's an easy out kill there point, supposed to be and it's I'm supposed to be an easy and I, you want me to shoot a church <laughs> <laughs> well yeah because then you got to hit the church and then you got to roll your d6 and hope you get a high number and then if they're down it's half of that so it's like okay yeah with one shot i could i know i could kill a sherman with one shot, I don't have any faith I can kill a squad of commandos in a building. Well, but you've got to concentrate the fire. you got to take them out because it's not just the kill point for the commandos. It's denying that oh, I know. cumulative... Uh, yeah. Well, points. yeah, and all that would have happened if I could have just rolled a, uh, you know, a three or a four on my uh, two penetrating hits <laughs> oh. instead of two ones. Yeah, no, it's it's pretty crazy that uh, we were even in the situation, and I'm rushing up with a Sherman at the end of the game. I mean, what the hell's wrong with this <laughs> picture? Yeah, um, well, it's just more Andre luck. It's just never ending. It's like the the gift that keeps on giving. Andre hasn't lost a game in like two months, and it's always coming down to some crazy bad luck on my part or good luck on his part. It seems like it's just because yeah, no, I thought this. At the end of turn two, I thought, uh, yeah, that streak is went down in, a, I knew in that wasn't classic true. fashion. I knew that wasn't. This is bolt action. Anything can happen. Well, and that's, I guess, the joy of me not keeping the games uh, straight in my head. <laughs> yeah. Looking at the scenario, and I think I was applying uh, chain of command um, kill rates. Um, it was like, there's no way. I'm I'm just gonna get rolled up. Yeah. By the end of turn four, I'm gonna be lucky to have a unit on my you know in anywhere twelve inches from my table edge. Yeah, chain of command I, armor rules I think are way better than bolt action armor rules. They actually feel like a a panther feels like something really awesome you know compared to a Sherman. Um, in this game, it is stat, stat wise, it's better. But it still comes down to one die roll. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay. When you're and just if, rolling one die and you're on a six turn clock, yeah, um, it's, like, okay. it's really random. That's why, I mean, we've done the two order dice thing before. And that might be a way to make these tanks better. Um, two order dice per tank yeah. would be, but then you're, then that's a lot of order dice because you already had 13. <laughs> 13 against nine. So, I mean, I sunk all my points into, the, into these two tanks. 
And they didn't do shit. Yeah. Well, and that's <laughs> why we never bring tanks in for the most part. Big tanks, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the Sherman can be a worthwhile... Shermans are great tanks. Yeah. They're amazing. They're, they're solid point-wise, damage-wise. You know, they got decent HE. They got Machine decent guns. penetration. They can take out enemy... You know, they're just a good, solid overall yeah. tank. Yeah. But, you know, you bring out the monsters, and uh, if but, you get unlucky with them, it's just a waste of points. Yeah, yeah, yeah and that's always been like that. So, But, let's say, again... It's just fun to, you know, you spend time painting them. And it's like You want to get them on the table. I want, yeah. It's like, and okay. you want to kill something. That would be nice. But yeah, getting them on the table is just nice because it's like, okay, you know, that opt optimally they're not great for, you know, if you're trying to win a tournament or whatever, but they're still cool. And you still, you know, painted them and spent time on them. So anyway, but yeah, try this mission out. It's pretty fun. Armored Strike is what I called it. Could be called something else easily, but uh, <laughs> the, the uh, idea of it is is pretty fun. You've got your infantry; they have to go into buildings. The points are cumulative. Um, the infantry matter, so yeah, uh, I think this was a fun mission, and we will go ahead and call it now. So thanks to Andre for coming over and kicking my butt for like the tenth time in a row. Hey. <laughs> At least I thought I wasn't. I'm going to get Steve over here next time so I can win a game. <laughs> <laughs> Steve's got worse luck than, than, I, than I do. <laughs> oh, man. So, And uh, as usual, check out our uh, Patreon page. If you want to um, help the channel out, um, just you know, keep us going and yeah, help us get better. Check out our social media stuff. Uh, Facebook group is uh, getting, getting quite large now. We've got Twitter. we got uh, Instagram as well. And our sponsors, check out our sponsors, uh, Panacea Prince, Kick-Ass Mail Order, Cigar Box Battle, and uh, Simon's uh, Tabletop Painting, who painted these uh, commandos for us. So thanks to all those guys, check them out, and let us know what you guys think, and we'll see you next time.